Welcome to another Ryan Sports Views. Tonight I'm reacting to the controversy of the Canadian Championship match final scheduling the final to be between Toronto FC versus Forge FC. Rumor is March 20th. The consensus is March 20th. But Forge wants it later because they're complaining way too much. And they're acting like Toronto is the big bad when really there's no big bad besides a microscopic particle with lots of spikes on it. And you know what I'm talking about. That's the only big bad here. Something that, well, you have to wear a mask for. Like this. Like that. That's the big bad. The thing that can't get through the mask, or at least, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But, Forge FC is complaining so heavily right now, it's not even funny. It's not even funny that they're complaining, because they think that the Canadian Soccer Association is out to get them. Bob Young, the owner, caretaker Bob, Forge FC owner, is wrote a letter, an open letter, posted it on his Twitter to the Canadian Soccer Association complaining about the amount of time they get to train in contrast with Toronto FC, his reasoning being only seven days, seven to ten days before the final can put their players at risk of injury and not give them enough time for against a team who's been training since February 27th, which MLS allowed them to do because, one, the pro sport exemption in Canada, two, because they needed to practice for this game to try to qualify for the CONCACAF Champions League. Because just like me, as a Toronto fan first, and I know some of y'all CPL Forge stands, even though I'm a Forge fan as well, I just call it like I see it. Y'all are complaining about other people who cover TFC on Twitter saying, oh, you like TFC first. You're not a reporter. Well, you know what? I ain't no damn reporter. Now, I can't speak for Dwayne Rollins. He's a reporter. He's a podcaster. At least he says it. But damn it, I'm a talking head. I'll admit it. I'm not a reporter yet. I ain't hired by nobody. I do my own thing. So if you want to call me a talking head and a TFC fan, go right ahead, CPL stands. I'm not afraid of it. I call it like I see it. Let me explain. I'm also a Forge fan as well. Of course, I'm a Toronto fan first because they came around first. I've been here since 2007. I'm a talking head. Okay. But I like Forge as well. But I'll call it like I see it and Bob Young's being a whiny baby. You can't do nothing against COVID. You can't do nothing to say, oh, Mr. Trudeau, Mr. Bontis, Mr. Ford, Premier Ford, Prime Minister Trudeau, President Bontis, whatever you want to call them. You can't say, hey, can we please practice on the same day Toronto's practicing, even though we don't have the pro sport exemption, because there's no, the Wage in the CPL is so low that some players have to get second jobs in the offseason to make more money. First off. Second off, the union that you have, that you have recognized, that has been recognized by the union's Fief Pro, you haven't recognized. So this is kind of your fault by your hand, Mr. Young. This is by your hand. You have not recognized that union that would get the players more money that maybe would give you that pro sport exemption. Crazy, isn't it? It's kind of your fault that you're in this predicament. It really is. It's not Toronto's fault. It's not Nick Bontis' fault. It's not Justin Trudeau's fault. It's not Doug Ford's fault. It's not anybody else's fault, but really yours. It's not the CPL's fault. It's not David Klanichan's fault. It's not the fans' fault. It's your fault because, one, you wouldn't take the match last year and play it in Hartford or wherever the hell while they were jetting around South Central America for CONCACAF League. Could have done it last year while Toronto was in the U.S., but no, the optics of that would have been horrible and the stands would have lost their minds, right? You need the final to be in Canada. Well, guess what? Look at this. Stop complaining. You're a beer league side damn near. The players don't get paid. Like, I respect Forge. And yes, they've beaten Central American sides. Yes, you have. But, oh, how'd you get knocked out of the CONCACAF League? You lost to Archive! Haiti! Forge 
should be better than that. I said it myself. So I'm not wrong, am I? You're complaining for nothing. Nothing. I'm sorry that COVID's around. I'm sorry that the coronavirus is around and Justin Trudeau is being a very cautious person about it. Way more cautious than Donald Trump or Boris Johnson or anybody ever was besides Australia. So get mad at Justin Trudeau. Get mad at him. Don't get mad at CSA. Hell, get mad at yourself before you get mad at the CSA and Toronto FC. You want a scapegoat. You want a scapegoat. I'm serious. Now, if you're mad that this is a rant, I'm sorry, but this is what I feel. He's trying to find a scapegoat against somebody that isn't him because he knows, yeah, I probably should have recognized this union. If the players got more money, this probably wouldn't have happened. We wouldn't have been forced to be an amateur side by the own letter of the law, maybe not beer league, but by the letter of the law. And it's like, hey, if we had this union and we could play these players more money, pay these players more money, guess what? Maybe we'd be training right now. But yeah, of course, you don't want to admit it's your fault because you're a businessman. Because even if you're a businessman, you have it in you. If you're a businessman, you have it in you. You could just be like, hey, I may not show it, but I'll, I'll, when I need to, I'll, I'll show the blame to somebody else. I'll pass the buck because it isn't my fault. <laughs> wow. You know, it's your fault. You know, it's your fault. You know, if you had recognized the union, you wouldn't be in this predicament. But no, you want to blame Toronto FC. You want to blame Canada soccer. You want to blame the federal government. You want to blame the provincial government. Okay. Go ahead. You want to blame CONCACAF. You want to blame MLS. You want to blame everybody but you. Everybody but Canadian soccer CPL owners. You. Because you're the one who didn't try to get the union faster. Or recognize the union faster. Now you're starting to recognize it, but too late. Before the laws could be changed. So... The only thing you should blame is either Miss Rona, the coronavirus, or yourself. And frankly, blame yourself. Because I don't understand why you have to complain. If you want to complain so much, be like, oh, we need April 3rd. We need more time. You do know that still gives Toronto more time to train as well. You realize that, right? You know how time works, right? I'm not good at math, and I'm not no businessman, but you know how time works. It adds up. You can't take none back. You can't ask for more, and you can't take it back. You can't ask for five more minutes, like you're Scotty McCreary. You can't. Time rolls by. The clock don't stop. I wish I had a few more drops of the good stuff, the good times. Oh, but they just keep on flying right on by like it ain't nothing. Wish I had me a, a pause button. Moments like those, Lord knows I'd hit it and give myself five more minutes. You, yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. And yeah, I had to sing. Whatever. Whatever. I can sing. Uh, but. You can't do that. You can't ask for five more minutes. You can't stop the time that Toronto's already trained. Just take March 20th and run. If you lose, you lose. At least you have an excuse, which I would not be shocked for hearing you say because, of course, you want to push forward just this forward-thinking, moving-forward organization. You don't want them to be like, yeah, we took an L. And sometimes you take Ls. Now, Bobby, Coach Bobby, would probably be like, yeah, we took an L. We were supposed to. That, that's basically what happens. You, on the other hand, are, is going to just excuse out, fumigate the place with excuses, and I don't respect that. Just like you are now. You're already setting the stage for the excuses. It's so obvious, it's not even funny. You were never favored against Toronto. You think you're not favored because you're only getting 7 to 10 days to practice before March 20th. You want more time, but really, doesn't matter. You're still going to get your ass kicked. 
And if you somehow don't, we don't deserve to be in the Champions League anyway. And we got problems. Way worse than losing to y'all. This ain't Greg Vanny's TFC anymore, and that's what scares you. If he was still here, if that fraud was still here, you'd be like, yeah, we have a chance to win. Now that Chris Armas is here, you're like, well, shit. <laughs> We're done. We're done. He's actually good. He actually knows tactics. He's not a fraud. We actually have a chance. We won't win. We don't have a chance to win. We'll probably lose, especially with Toronto training more. So, of course, you're already putting out the excuses to excuseify the excuses. Or maybe, I have also heard this, I wouldn't be shocked if that little speculation that Dwayne Rollins aforementioned said about, hey, guess what? I could see Ford forfeiting the CCL spot because of this situation. I would not be surprised to see you do it. Again, because you don't want to take an L and actually admit you took the L. It's a freaking joke what you're doing. Stop complaining. Stop starting excuses, you have nobody else but yourself to blame about this situation. Not the federal government, not Canada soccer, not MLS, not CONCACAF, not the fans, not nobody but you. You. You could have played it earlier, you didn't do it because of the optics. And CPL stands are going to defend you to the day you die about this. Because like, oh, Toronto's the big bad. See, Canada soccer supports them the wholehearted way. Do you not realize what Canada soccer has done to other teams in the country that aren't CPL teams? They buried Ottawa Fury to make them Atletico Ottawa, basically. Get them as a CPL city and get in Atletico Ottawa. They buried Ottawa Fury. Do you really think they care about the MLS sides? I think they care more about their pet project, the CPL. Honestly, if Forge was getting more favorability, I should complain about that. Canada soccer doesn't give a rat's ass about a team that isn't in the CPL. Trust me, they don't. They don't. MLS let Toronto play, practice longer. The government did because they're a pro team, not Canada soccer. Read my lips. It wasn't them. They don't care. You really want to be big brain conspiracy theorist stands? Well, let me tell you the truth. They don't care about us. They care about you, but they're not helping you. So you're mad. You think, oh, they care more about Toronto. There's nothing fair about the COVID era. Not a damn thing fair about right now. It's only convenience. Learn that. Convenience. Once you learn that, accept it. Accept it. It's, it's honest. Accept it. Learn what's coming up. Don't just be like, hey, Toronto's the favored club. No, they're not. You're honestly probably the more favored club. Not us. Which is ironic, to say the least. But still, there's nothing fair about the COVID era. It's only convenience. But you didn't want the Canadian Championship to be played in the USA during last fall or winter. So, here we are. And now you have another thing to complain about because it's not going the way that the CPL stands want it to go. Oh my God, it's a joke. It's a complete and utter joke. It's what it is. Do you really think Forge could beat Toronto in their current state? Toronto isn't that bad. They were second in the league. You have a right to stand pat. Besides Bore and draft picks, they're not that bad. It's not all doom and gloom. And Armis is a better manager than Vanny. Maybe that's what you're pissed about because you know Vanny's a fraud. And honestly, he doesn't care. He never cared about the Champions League after he lost that damn final. You could see it the way they played Montreal in 2019. He gets them there, but they normally run out of gas and choke. And that's when he has amazing players. When he has players that are on the galaxy, they aren't even going to get that far. Seriously. He's a fraud. But you knew that already, and that's what really pisses you off. You thought Forge had a chance. Vanny left, and you're like, oh, they don't. 
because they'll get somebody better. Maybe Maurizio Sarri, maybe Chris Armis. Turned out to be Chris Armis, and he is better. And you know you have no chance. Walking in like Vince McMahon, no chance. No chance in hell. You've got no chance. No chance in hell. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't you have no chance. You have no chance. So that's why you're complaining. Because seven days, new manager who actually is good for Toronto FC. The players that they have, you know they're better. You just want to complain. That's all you want to do. Because this would be a black mark for the CPL if you couldn't complain and make excuses, right? That's why, right? Okay, cool. We're not the big bad. We're not Bowser. We're not Brock Lesnar. We're not Conor McGregor. Yeah, one of those things is not like the others. But still, stop complaining. I don't want to hear it. Whatever happens, happens. It's not our fault. It's not the government's fault. It's not the MLS's fault. Not CONCACAF's. Not Canada Soccer's. It's, it's Forge's fault. They should have played the match earlier. But no, you didn't want that, of course. You didn't want that, of course. And all this could have been not a problem if Forge could have beaten Narcai or Marathon. But they couldn't do it. Because remember the rumor that if they had beaten qualified to the CONCACAF Champions League through the CONCACAF League, this would not have been played and Toronto would have got the spot? Yeah. It would have been a lot easier had Forge not choked in the CONCACAF League. But wait, they choked. They made this a necessity. It's their fault as well. They made this a necessity. Okay, cool. It's y'all fault. It's honestly your fault all over the... All over the way. Stop making excuses. I'm tired of it. You're going to lose. If you're going to lose, you're going to lose. Take the L like a man or a woman. Take the L with dignity. All right? Take the L like a man or woman, whatever you are. If you're a CPL stand, the players are men, of course. But if you're a CPL stand, if you're in the office, take an L like a man or woman, whatever you are, take the L with dignity. All right? There you go. That's what I got to say about this situation. I know 20 minutes of this, almost 20 minutes of this, I know why, Ryan. I don't care. I have to say what I feel. I say what I think. I'm the truth for a reason. I say what my heart wants me to say. And if you hate it, I'm, I'm not sorry at all. I'm not sorry at all. I'm not sorry at all. Call me the football outlaw. Yeah. I like that. Ryan the Truth Anderson, the football outlaw. Yeah. I like that. But, so, enjoy it. I got wound up for 20 minutes. There you go. So, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Wednesday, I will have a live stream RSR for Leon versus Monterey. The postponed game from Hornada 3 of the Liga MX. And still got a scout Leon. So, there you go. I'm Ryan. I'm out. Peace.